Swedish Quebec City and I took a taxi from outside the station and I just got into the main door and that over here is my key. Let me go find out my room. Oh my god, so getting in the room was a very big challenge. So let's see in the morning if it works out, I'll stay. Otherwise, I'm going to change the hotel actually. Otherwise, I'm going to change the hotel actually. Good morning. So this is September 2nd and our morning in Hotel Nomad. So this morning I got up really early and then I started googling hotels near me. I tried to understand why this hotel got 4.7 in Google review out of 5 and I was feeling so creeped out. So after looking through several other hotels, what I realized almost every single hotel in old Quebec City has small rooms. But that's the thing, like this is how every hotel in old Quebec is like. Hi, welcome back again. Okay, so there's this thing with UNESCO and this city that they have to keep every building as it is. They cannot change the structures. That's why this hotel, Hotel Nomad, and many other hotels, they are structurally the same as they were built at the first time they were built. So they can renovate to just preserve the heritage. They cannot change the structure. They cannot put an elevator if there wasn't an elevator. There wasn't any elevator. Honestly, there's no space for it. Though my room doesn't have any mini fridge, but they have a fridge outside. I highly recommend that you do your research, call the hotels, ask them and they are nice. They will tell you what they have, what they do not have. So why would you want to stay in any of these hotels? It's because almost every single historic landmark is within this area, the fortified portion of the city. And they are best explored by walking. Terrace Dufferin, Plains of Abraham, Hotel Terrace Dufferin. Right over there is my hotel, Hotel Nomad. This is the front neck hotel. And why is this so important? The entire area is like a hill and you have to walk a lot. So as you have to walk a lot and the roads are quite slanted, so if you're not a hiker, you really want to save some breath by staying within the hot and happening zone. Now let me give you a daytime tour of my room and my hotel. After you enter the room, this is where you can hang your coats or jackets because there is no closet. There is the AC. The ceiling is really, really high. But there is a second ceiling. It looks like almost there wasn't a bathroom before. They just built it. The shower head and the bathtub is really clean and it looks new. I'm happy with that. But the toilet is quite near the bathtub. There are some toiletries, shampoo, shower cap, and one shower gel, little towel, and bath towels, and one extra toilet paper roll. This comes off. So I didn't dare to lock it. The bedside table is a tree stump, and there's a coaster, and this is a bookmark, which I'm totally taking home, and there is a desk distressed by hand there is a minus oh why minus why not plus that's the mirror and this scene there's the garbage bin there's a little basket so there is a hair dryer nice and in the morning you can see that she's smiling actually hi unknown pretty woman and he's still grumpy Coming. I just got my breakfast served. So it seems like there's tea, juice, some bakery. This looks super good. Some berry preserve, yogurt, sugar, milk. Like I'm sorted and hopefully I will eat this one. Okay, and there 
is my little patio. You have a little key. Open it. Hi, Ayan. Hi. I could spend the entire day in the patio, but we had an entire city to explore. But before that, let me show you how beautiful our hotel is. Just like most of the establishments in old Quebec City, Hotel Nomad is also a building with lots of character and history. A couple of steps and two ornate doors later, you'll enter a tiny little hallway. As you enter the hallway, you will feel a strong sense of centuries-old environment. The first floor has a couple of guest rooms, the reception, and carved stairs taking you up to the second and third floor. Our room was on this floor towards this way and when you look down this is where the reception is and last but not the least on the first floor you have this beautifully decorated lounge room which is quite contrasting from the rest of the hotel it's very bright open and there are lots of windows you can have your breakfast here in the morning but just like any other entitled instagrammer I spent my time taking photos here. From these windows, you can see the very prominent, hard to miss historical landmark Chateau Frontenac. You wanna go there? Let's go. <laughs> 